Hey party people, it's Steven, back again with Jake. Hello! And we're going to play Shadow Ninja Apocalypse. That right there is the entire story of the game. Uh, it's just this page from a comic book. Uh, I wonder if it's a real comic book? This looks like something no, somebody some art student had made commissioned this. on DeviantArt. But this is an endless runner game. Um, it's got a cool design. I, I, I like it. The music's actually pretty rad. Um, the only thing I, I complain really about it is the... I guess the hitbox little detection there, I, I believe it's a little off because there are some points where I jump over things and I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I cleared that, but nope, it'll say you died. Like, oh. there, I flat out hit that one. I was going to say, you jumped on a saw blade right there. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Oh. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Limbo uh, with the black and white. That's pretty much all it has oh, in common. Oh, yeah, with yeah, it. yeah. Except in Limbo, you weren't a ninja. And I mean,. And Arguably, a, you are not a ninja. That's true. And, you know, Limbo was a great game. This isn't a bad game. It's just not a great game. It's fun. I think it's better on a um, on a mobile device. If you play this on a phone, I think you might enjoy it more. Uh, I left in every failure I had. Oh, man. This is my first time kidding. playing. And um, one thing I noticed is... See, I cleared that fucking thing. One thing I noticed is um, the music, it just it starts off loud, and then it immediately stops once you die. And then it starts off loud and immediately stops. And if you keep going on a long streak, you can hear the entire song. <laughs> but Oh, yeah, is it a good song at least? It's, it's neat. I don't know. I have, the, I have it muted right now while we're watching this, but uh, you'll, you'll, you'll hear it when you watch it on YouTube. The, the viewers will hear it. It's it's splat. It's not too not too shabby. I feel like you went to newgrounds.com. Yeah, it's it seems like this is one of like a flash game, like a cheap little flash game, but I'm not knocking the developer. I think he did a great job. Ooh, or right he or she. Spikes there. Uh it's I mean, Ooh. I couldn't do this. Ooh. But uh I like the design, I like the concept. Uh endless runners are kind of a, a a genre of themselves and they're not, you know, everybody's not everybody plays them. Um, I think Temple Run pretty much grabbed that market. I'm pretty sure Temple Run is like the only one you really need to worry about. Yeah. Uh, this one includes, uh, you have a little ninja throwing knife thing. that Because there's other ninjas that you got to get past. They'll kill you if you don't hit them. But, uh, yeah. I just try to make it through the first five levels in this game. Uh, and then I stopped. Uh, this is a lot different than the funny games we usually feature here on Dollar Bin, but this was, uh, I think, 50 cents when I bought it, and so I was like, I can't pass a game up called Shadow Ninja Apocalypse. I mean, the title alone sold me. And I can't I mean, wait for Shadow Ninja Apocalypse 2. Oh, man, you almost made it. And what, what is... Yeah, Son of a bitch, the fucking hitbox sucks. You weren't kidding. Yeah, the hitbox it's frustrating me. I'm not even playing. One, one, one thing I noticed about it is, um, you know, this is post-apocalyptic. There was an explosion, and I guess you're running away from it. Um, where did all this saw where blades? Where did all these and, saw blades come from? Yeah, maybe it was a saw blade, saw blade explosion. Is this Detroit? I don't know. I've never been to Detroit. Anybody in Detroit can chime in and tell us. Do y'all have saw blades everywhere? Um, let us it know. It makes it very tough to get to school. Yeah, I bet. Ugh, our trigger treating must be a bitch there. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh yeah, a little stuttering there. Yeah. Wow, frame rate's kind of going a little yeah, off. Yeah, that on can you. mess you up in a uh, in a in a game where you're endlessly running and having to jump over obstacles when timing is everything. Yeah, yeah, and you can choose between different colored ninjas. I just I didn't bother. Um, I wasn't paying attention too much. I didn't know if there was a control to um, hit try again. I just had to every time I died, I had to go over there and click on try again. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting yeah i'm like okay i think this is on phones as well uh i i would recommend it i think the next game next week will be on mobile devices as well um yeah it this this is wow the entire game as frustrating as it can be and by frustrating i mean it's 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 a little challenging it, it can get there i'm sure there's some champs out there that are watching this oh right yeah now. they're you like suck. this guy sucks I got to level 85 and unlocked Super Secret Story Mode. Yeah, I got the Santa Claus Ninja. The Santa Claus Ninja. That the would be linebacker. cool. That'd be cool if that was in it. But, I, I mean, I said my biggest complaint was the hitbox. The hitbox is not where it's at in this game. No, I can see that very frust being very frustrating. But, I mean, a lot of it was my mistake. I jump at the wrong time. Uh, there's no timing where you can, like, hold the jump button and, you know, kind of jump further. It's just... He jumps the same every time. <laughs> so, yeah. This is... Gotta kill the ninjas. You gotta jump over spikes and, and 
This is just, it's Detroit now. We're just going to call it Detroit. Yeah, you run through the ruins of Detroit. You avoid RoboCop. Yay! Hey, level level five. 5. Avoid saw blades. Thank you for the advice. We're going to make, we're going to, I don't think I'd do it much on this one. I'd just try it once and I'd die. And I was like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> but Oh, you're not doing bad. No, no, of course not. I'm not doing bad. I like those red clouds. It's always going to be something stupid that kills me. Hmm. Oh, that. oh what? Hitbox, baby. Oh, man. Oh, Shadow guess, Ninja Apocalypse, why? I guess I give this one a go. I think maybe I'm like, maybe I should f clear five of them. Damn it. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, so this was 50 cents then. Yeah, this was 50 okay, cents. Okay, well, you get a little bit of game for 50 cents. Yeah, At it's least not bad. it's better than, like, grass growing simulator or yeah. something like that. Oh, my God. Please, somebody make that. It's already a game. Oh, my God. We need to feature it. Grass simulator, I'm pretty sure, already exists. <laughs> Uh, th I love the design. The design's great. When you jump, there's like a little shadow following you around. I don't know if there's a story behind that. Uh, he might need to make more drawings of that <laughs> to tell us what more it is. Or needs to hire another guy on DeviantArt. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say this is a very immersive story. But I mean, do you really need a story in a game like this? I mean, it's it's just a ninja running. Right, away. right. I mean, it's like Temple Run. You're running. You're, You're running from the thing. Why? Because there's giant monkey demons chasing you. <laughs> Fucking everything kills you in this. God, yeah, it it's just this as is like the world's worst lumber mill. <laughs> it's it's just as frustrating to play as it is to watch. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I just want to I just want to punch somebody <laughs> watching this game. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, level six, and we're gonna end it there because uh, we don't need to subject you to more of that. But yeah, I I I'm not slamming the game. I think it's it's worth a buck. So, yeah, uh, pick it up for a dollar. Yeah, Shadow Ninja Apocalypse. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> if you liked what you saw, uh, please do all that stuff you see on the screen. And, please. And uh, we're going to have more of this stuff, uh, maybe some funny ones later. Um, till next time, I'm Steven. I'm Jake. Thank you for watching.